It was a big day for Bibb County at the state capitol as the House of Representatives approved legislation that would allow for nonpartisan elections for several local offices. But some of the area's representatives were furious over the outcome, saying the decision changes the will of the people. 41 NBC's Ashley Minnelli spent the day at the Gold Dome and joins us with more. Ashley. It was an intense morning here at the state capitol. Representatives from Bibb County's local legislative delegation battled it out on the House floor over nonpartisan elections. Republicans in favor, Democrats in opposition. And by the end of the debate, party lines decided the vote. It started out with a fact. Not a single other city in the state has partisan elections. Then a biblical verse. Laban baited him with something he knew Jacob wanted. Next, an emotional plea. And I hope that you will vote no and give Bibb County a chance to decide his destiny. But some of the most memorable words in the fight against Senate bills 25, 26, 30 and 31 That's came from a democracy. state representative who doesn't even Come represent on. the people of Bibb County. This bill got the wrong names on it. The name should be folk like Putin. This is a Russian bill where the people ain't got no say. That's not what this house is about. Senator Cecil Staten wrote the four bills that passed in the House with a strong majority. As a whole, they mandate that nonpartisan elections are held for the following offices under the newly consolidated Macon and Bibb County. The Mayor and Commission, Board of Education, the Macon Water Authority, Bibb County Coroner, and Civil Magistrate and Probate Judges. State Representative Alan Peek spoke on behalf of the bill, saying it makes sense for the famously divided community. We need to stop the divisiveness and vote the most uh, competent, most qualified people to these local elected positions. Beverly and Randall pleaded with the House, saying their Republican colleagues from Bibb County pulled a bait and switch. When we started, if partisan elections are off the table, we're not signing. Representative Randall said it, I said it, and Senator Paris. Peek supported his position on the floor by saying Bibb County doesn't want party lines. We are only responding to what the citizens requested of us. A decision Beverly and Randall believe should be made by the people. There is nothing right about this. Not the politicians. On my way out of the Capitol, I caught up with Senator David Lucas, who tells me he does plan to file a complaint with the Department of Justice regarding these bills. Now, in order for them to become law, they have to be signed by Governor Deal and also cleared by the Department of Justice as well. Reporting in Atlanta, Ashley Minnelli, 41 NBC News.